guys, so I'm here with my 2014 beauty favorites. Um, I had such a good time going back and looking at all the products that I discovered this year and what I'm going to show you. And these things that I'm going to show you, I really do feel like right now, I don't want to live without. Um, some of them are holy grail status. Um, and some things that I think are holy grail status I'm not showing you today because I didn't discover them this year. Um, I like to think that these videos are all things that I discovered this year. Um, I just noticed that the light behind me, it, it's a starlight, but look, watch. It's like a little horn. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's a devil horn. That's not good. Um, okay, that's enough. Uh, <laughs> uh, happy 2015, though. I know it's the middle of the month, but... And I'm sorry this is a little late, but until I get better lighting in here, my times to film are really limited, and I am a doofus when it comes to lighting. So, okay, let's get... There it goes again. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I need the light back there. It's my starlight. I got it at um, Ikea. Okay, so top products. Uh, I have um, fragrance, beauty, skincare, and one thing in hair care. I'll start with the hair care thing because I cannot live without this. <sighs> oh my gosh, it's the wind wind it is the win finishing treatment cream in pomegranate look how much she's been used and abused and i love it um we got this at the end of 2013 in a qvc new beauty and i didn't use it right away um i believe this i believe this is something i showed in my january favorites because i used it the entire month and i have to say this baby has been going the entire year because it's probably that much left and there is some air in there. It's amazing and when it goes away, I'm gonna be really disappointed if I can't get the pomegranate scent because, oh my gosh, it's awesome. It's a thick cream, just looks like that. I'm not gonna show you swatches of everything because you've pretty much seen swatches of everything, but I put this in uh, right after I dry my hair and it's all dry and kind of looking a little meh. I put this in, I love it. Um, Every morning when I wake up after I brush my hair, I mix a little bit of this in my hand and I take it through my hair like this and I love it. Even the dirtier my hair gets, I'm spraying dry shampoo in, I take this in my hands and I put it in my ends. I love it. I think it's a fabulous, fabulous product. I've never tried the actual cleansing cream, cleansing conditioner that he's known for, that Chaz Dean is known for. Um, but I do think that uh, I love this. <laughs> and when it's gone, I will find it again. And who knows what scent I'll have to get, but I have loved the pomegranate scent. So I um, probably should have looked for a backup of this in the fall when the scent probably came out again, because um, I don't want to be out without this smell. I just love it so much. Okay. That's that. Um, let me go to fragrance. Oh my goodness. I, I bought this in the fall and I have used it just about every single day. Um, it is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black and it is just the best scent ever. Um, I do feel like we'll see how much I use it in the spring, but fall and winter this is beautiful i like the white and i might get that but something about the black um this is definitely a perfume that i want to always always have it mixes well with my i don't know my ph or whatever it is because some perfumes smell good on other people and then you put them on yourself you're like ew um but i love this and i, I know i got this uh when sephora did the 20 percent off and mm, Gosh, I'm so, so happy with this. I love it. My husband thinks it smells good. Um, and this is like, this to me was one of the big finds of the year because when I get a perfume that I get super stoked about, um, super stoked about, I don't usually say stoked. Um, I think I've been watching videos with someone that said stoked and now it's in my head. Uh, love this. Love, love, love it. And um, skincare. Glam Glow, she's not new. You guys know she's not new. This has been out for a couple years. Everybody and their brothers already fell in love with it. But I was um, slow on the train and I just fell in love with it this year. This smell is a little odd. It's it's minty and muddy, um, charcoal-y. 
but I really do like it. I like the way it feels. I like how it dries and you can see your skin. Girl did not know she had pores, like big nasty pores in areas until she used Glam Glow. Thanks Glam Glow. Um, but I do feel like my skin is soft, refreshed, and I surely hope it's doing what it says it's doing because I want to get those impurities out of my face. And so I really love this and um, they just came out with a new cleanser that's like mud to foam that I think would be fun to try this year. Okay, any more skincare in here? Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, the Ola Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Builder. Um, this is the Vitamin C Complex Serum. This just has a little bit left in there. I have a larger bottle and I just keep putting it in here for some reason. I like the tiny bottle. Um, got this also in a QVC New Beauty test tube and this is amazing. I love, love, love this for my morning serum. I was not using a morning serum until I got this sample in that box, in that test tube. Um, and it has orange extract, obviously, because it's vitamin C, green tea, um, wait, orange extract, green tea extract, and complete vitamin C complex. I just think you can see that it makes your skin a little bit more radiant, a little bit more refreshed. Um, I love it. I, I think it's amazing. And I'm like, why in the world did it take me so long to use a morning serum? But it must have, I just needed to find the right one. So this is definitely... Fabulous. Holy grail status. Um, uh, okay. Well, these this isn't skincare. Let's move into um, beauty. And I'll do lips first. <laughs> this little beauty right here is the Bioderma um, Atoderm. And it's the Stick Hydrant Moisturizing. Oh, let me just read the English part. Moisturizing stick for damaged and dehydrating lips. You guys know that I have damaged and dehydrated lips. And this has been amazing. First of all, can you see how much I've used? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't like this. Mindy bought this back from Paris last year. And I keep this in my purse and I love it. I definitely think it soothes. I definitely think it doesn't um, dry me out. Sometimes sometimes balms that look like they wouldn't dry you out, they dry me out. I have weird lips. I think you guys probably know that. I've ranted about them for the last three years. Um, but this is amazing. And um, I think I can get this online somewhere. And this is something that when it goes out, I do feel like I need to have another one. Um, or I just need to go to Paris. Maybe I should tell Wes, hey, I need a new lip balm. Let's book tickets. I don't think he'd go for it, but I like it. I should try it. Um, speaking of Paris again, or France, um, this Nukes lip balm, which is for dry and chapped lips, it looks like this. Um, a friend, Christine, who lives in France, sent this to us. And it has been by my nightstand. I mean, look at it. It's thick. It's, it's not like a balm and a stick. It's very different. It is more like a treatment to me. I will show you this. Um, it's a little waxy feeling. It's thick. Um, and I coat my lips like a champ. I mean, I probably look crazy when I go to sleep. But I definitely think that this has helped at nighttime um, hold in the moisture. Love it. Love it. Love it. And I love the smell. It's like a fresh... Oh my gosh, the top thing's coming apart. Um... It's a fresh, like, lemony scent almost, and I just love it, and I'm so grateful that Christine sent this. And then um, Mindy also, when she went, she picked up a backup, so we're very, very, very excited to have that. And I do think that those two have been some great lip finds for those in need. And then uh, my last, surprisingly, my last lip product that I wanted to talk about this year is a MAC product and I don't think they're available anymore and I'm so sorry but I had to mention it because when they came out with the huggable lip colors this year the packaging looks like so. I got three of them. This one is in Rich Marin. It's more of the uh, brownish neutral one. Um, I said I wasn't going to swatch and I'm not but uh, just this one because maybe you guys don't know what it looks like. I fell in love with these. These are a sheer lipstick, but they have the moisturizing ability that no other lipstick does. Um, you can see it has some shine. 
I just love these huggable lip color it really did that it hugged my lips and it didn't dry them out and I know in my videos I talked about these many 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 times um, like I said I have three of them and I love these this is something that I'd love to see them come back with I'd love to see a huge line of these um, but I'm sorry that I don't think you can get them but they they knocked my socks off this year and I wanted to um, definitely bring it around and tell you guys because some of you got them so maybe if you're not using them you can pull them back out um, okay, so that's lips. Let's go with <coughs> let's go with face. The winner of the year is Tarte. Uh, two things from Tarte that I fell in love with, and it's funny. Um, this is the Tarte BB. It's the Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer, and it's in the shade Light Medium. And it looks like it has a lot in it, but that's a lot of air. I have put some, I have put a hurting on this baby this year. Uh, I've loved this and it's not to say that I don't still love my other BB creams like Pond's and Garnier because I still do. I love them very much but I was really happy to discover this one. Um, it's a 20 SPF. It's oil free. It's without parabens, mineral oil, all the bad stuff. Um, not that I go looking for that but when I get a product that says that it makes me feel good. Um, and it has the active ingredients is titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which I really like. So this has been a winner. This is a very light, um, it does the job for a BB cream. It, to me, it is the BB cream. Um, it has the coverage of a true BB cream, in my opinion. Um, at least the American ones that I've tried. And then this one is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. And I got the shade Light Medium Honey. And uh, this also has been an everyday grab and it is I'd say a more medium coverage foundation for probably most of you that love full full coverage foundations um, but I'm loving it as a little bit more coverage for this time of year this is something that's definitely more spring summer even though I have grabbed for it um, in the cold weather especially if I'm just running a few errands um, I am wearing this today and it just covers up some flaws and has a great finish without without looking um too much without i think i told you guys once before when i wear when i've tried regular full foundations i notice that it looks real makeup-y through here that's where i notice it the most i never noticed that with this i just love it so much um i think it's been the year of tarte if i could pick a brand and say 2014's best brand i'd probably say tarte there you go my little input so that's face um oh i have some highlighters <clears throat> you guys know one of my favorite things in the whole world highlights and I have to mention this one it is the Laura Mercier uh, mineral illuminating powder and candlelight now this was a gift a Christmas gift last in 2013 from Mindy so I really didn't start using it until 2014 and it just comes in a little thing like this you can open and close it uh, I'm wearing it today it is beautiful and definitely one that got a lot of love this year and it's such a huge container I'm surprised she makes such huge containers of highlights because I don't know if I'll ever finish this but it's beautiful and it's one that I think so many of you would like uh, you can totally get it at Ulta I mean Sephora or I believe she got this probably at the Nordstrom counter um, you should just go by and get them to swipe it on it's a great one it is a fabulous fabulous uh, highlight Speaking of other fabulous highlights, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. Sorry. Oh, poo. I grabbed rose gold. Let me grab. Rose gold was great, but I did not wear it half as much because I got it towards the end of the year as I did Opal. Oh my gosh. This is just a beauty. It really, really is. It goes with my skin tone really well. Uh, Becca Highlighting pow uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector. Sorry, I should get it by the name. I should get the names right. Um, they are amazing and it's definitely something that if you are a makeup lover and you like highlights um, If you're someone just starting out, then maybe this is a little pricey There's always something that you could get but I feel like if you are a makeup lover This is one that you probably want to have um, Whether it's the rose gold whether it's opal whether it's I know they have one Moonstone maybe I can't remember that's lighter than this for for people that don't have my skin tone um, But this has been amazing. Um, I've loved getting to experience Becca through the shimmering skin perfectors. And then 
Um, I had to talk about this. I know it's silly to show you three highlighters that I thought were amazing, but this highlighter I used in a different way. And it's something that I've never used to highlight. I've never used a highlight all over my face. Okay, so I showed a video a few months ago on the Laura Geller, Laura Geller Bella Vita eight-piece collection. I think it was eight-piece collection on QVC. And in that collection came amazing things. And it also came with a baked illuminator. It's called Baked Gelato Lace Illuminator in Ballerina. It looks like it hasn't been touched. Oh, yes, it has. Um, it also came with this brush right here um, that's specifically made for this highlight. And what I fell in love with and is why I'm, why I'm showing you guys is typically highlighters I would put here, a little here, maybe here, and then dot a little bit on my inner corner. I've never had a highlighter, well, an illuminator that I felt like I would just put all over my face. And this is one that she showed. Yeah, you can take this brush and it kind of gives like an airbrush effect and you can like, you can do this and you can touch up and you can do this and all over your face. And... When I started doing this, I was like, Laura Geller's a genius! I loved it so, so much. Um, this will probably last me forever. I love the texture of these. Um, these are ones that, since they're baked, they, they're on a terracotta plate, and they start out as liquid, and they end their life like this. They're baked to perfection. And um, I don't know, it's an extra step that I've never done in my makeup. Uh, process and I've just loved it. I think this is definitely a standout duo um, from the year. So love my girl Laura Geller. You guys, if you've been with me for a while, you know how much I love her. Okay, so that's all of the face. Well, I'll do cheeks. I mean cheeks are face. So I have two cheek products that I think were super awesome, amazing finds this year. And the first one is from MAC and it is the blush in Margin and it is a frost, and it looks like so. Oh my goodness, I have loved it. This I got, I think in the early summertime, and used it all through the summer, even into the fall, and I've still used it sometimes this winter. Um, I know most people probably pull this out only in the summer, but I love this. I saw this as a recommendation from a bunch of YouTubers, I can't pinpoint just one, and I got it, and MAC has fabulous blushes. I don't think I've ever gotten a blush from them that I was disappointed with. This one does not disappoint, and I think it works awesome on my skin tone. Um, I could see it working great even on lighter skin tones, maybe just a lighter hand, um, but it's, it's beautiful, and I'm so happy to have that one, and I wanted to share it with you. And then the next thing that shocked me this year, um, totally shocked me, is the Hourglass um, Ambient Light Lighting Blush Palette. Why did it shock me, you ask? Uh, because I have the Ambient Lighting Palette and I hardly ever use it. Um, I don't know, I wasn't that impressed with the Ambient, um, just the powders. Maybe I, maybe that's something I'll revisit this year. I just wasn't very impressed with them. So when this came, when they came out, the large size, I kept swatching them and asking my friends, which one should I get? And they're probably like, shut up and buy one. But I never did because I never, I never went in and swatched one and said, that's it. You know, I feel like you swatch something and you're like, that's it. This is one of those things. So there are three. There's Luminous Flush, Incandescent, Electra, and Mood Exposure. So they look like this. You guys have probably seen this all over YouTube. Um, they have the uh, um, ambient powder through them and they have the mix with the pink, the more peachy, and the more like nudie mauve. And um, when this came out, I was like, okay, here's your chance. You can get three in one. This is the one that I like the most anyway. Um, even swatching this when I first got it, I was like, mm, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. This is one of those palettes that personally for me, I felt like swatching it did not do it justice. Wearing them does. I am wearing mood exposure today. Sorry, I'm just looking in the mirror. Um, mood exposure today and they're beautiful. They are beautiful. Um, and I was very happy to get three in one. Uh, I think this thing was 50 to 60 bucks. I cannot remember now how much it was. But one of them is probably almost 40. So I think I got a good deal. Um, shockingly, I don't know, I got this and I thought the middle one 
and these two would be ones that I wear the most. Shockingly, I've really enjoyed this one too. So I'm so excited that I have a three blush palette that I love all three. And so all three get a, love, get a little love here and there, and there's not one like child that's like, I'm left out. You know what I mean? Okay, um, what I have left, just eye products. Um, and, then, and then I'll be done, I'll let you go. Uh, top mascara of the year for me was the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel. Uh, awesome. I'm wearing it today. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I have short eyebrows. I hope I have short eyebrows. I have short eyelashes. And so when I find a mascara that I think wows me, oh, it's on. Um, and luckily, I have a few that I'm in love with. This is the one discovery this year. It was a gift from Mindy for my birthday. And I can tell you right now, when this dries out or it's time to be tossed, I will buy another one. I just love it. It transforms my lashes. It gives me length and it gives me volume. Obviously, it should give me some volume since it says that. So um, they just look fuller and they just look beautiful. I mean, and for me to say that is huge because that is just an area in, on me that I've always been like, Mer. you know, I have crappy eyelashes. Not with this. I love it. Um, eyeliners this year. I'm sure you guys already know that I'm going to say the Smashbox Always Sharp Eyeliners. Uh, just amazing. Um, I have one right now. This is I pulled just grabbed French Navy and um, Raven, which is the black one. And they stick. Okay, so first of all, always sharp means there's a sharpener built in here. So every time you put it back in and you twist, it keeps a nice point. Oh, it's brilliant. It's a time saver. I know these things might be a little more expensive than just getting one that you can sharpen. And I do have some that I sharpen that I do love. These to me are time savers. They're awesome. They are easy. Um, if you are someone who is nervous to wear regular eyeliner, um, this is amazing i think they have great staying power they're waterproof and i think that they stay they don't transfer you know there's no transfer there's no weirdness sometimes i'll wear an eyeliner and put it on here and notice that it comes down here a little bit when i blink when i do that you know that's what blinking is uh but these have just been amazing i've been so happy with these um definitely standout product of the year um and i just love the quality the quality is amazing um where am I? Okay, and I couldn't help myself. I had to mention one other brand of eyeliner this year that I just uh, loved, and that was the Laura Geller Ink Credible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil. Now, I got the first pencil in black in that uh, Bella Vita collection and loved it, loved it. But I felt like I needed to mention this one because of the color as well. It is in fade to gray. Now this one I read is supposed to have some kind of sharpening power too, but I haven't really noticed that, but it hasn't really bothered me. But this is a gray eyeliner. I hope that it's showing up gray for you. Um, I've never ever used gray eyeliner. And I think for me, it's just a nice change from brown or black or you know purple or something. Um, I love it. I love it. It's just a little softer. Um, the gray stays. You can definitely see it, but it's not, you know, bam, it's black. I love this for underneath my lash line. Um, it definitely, it has a little bit of silver glitter in it, but I don't really notice that on my eyes so much. Um, but I can say that, sorry, I'm trying to get this off now. It'll take a minute. Um, I can definitely say that uh, I love these. I think Laura Geller did a fabulous, fabulous job creating those. And then the last two things that I have for you are palettes. Two palettes that I thought were my best finds of the year. And one was this Tarte palette and it is the Rainforest After Dark Colored Clay uh, Eye and Cheek Palette. Amazing. I love everything about this. It's finally one of the disc palettes that every color I love, the blush is an everyday color blush that looks good on my skin, the highlight's always great, and the bronzer is always fabulous. So check this baby out. These colors right here, the gold and this um, like purple maroon, uh, it just did me in. This has been amazing. I know this was limited edition, so I'm not sure you can get your hands on it. Um, but for those of you that did, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, 
this is definitely one that I think they not they just hit it out of the park with this. I'm telling you, Tarte from 2014 kicked butt. I loved it. Um, and then the next one is this one. Looking back, I was like, this really wowed me. Um, it's the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. Okay, it's the volume one because they've then come out with the second one. The packaging is not that pretty, let's be honest. This is not very glamorous. It's not very glitzy. It may not catch your eye when you're at Ulta. You might just kind of be like, Mer. okay, whatever. Um, they are all supposedly matte shadows. And they are. They're, there's not sparkle in here except for the transforming pearl has a little sheen, a little shimmer to it. But I think these things are way creamier, way... They have some type of sheen to them in my opinion. They're not flat matte. I'll just say that. <clears throat> there's only... There are two colors in here that I have not used. And I'll be honest, one's down here called Sheer Joy. And the other one is this um, sunset orangey color right here. All the other ones I've used and I've loved. And when I got this, I was shocked at how much I really enjoyed using it. You don't, let me just say this, you do not need a lot of color. Um, I wore this just the other day and I don't know why I wasn't thinking and I totally just dipped my brush in and then I, in a lighter color and saw how much color came on and I was like, oh my gosh, what do you need to think when you're putting your makeup on because um, they pack a lot of pigment. One thing I will say about this palette is my same thoughts about the Hourglass um, blush palette is that when I swatched these at the store, I was like, there's nothing fancy about these. There's nothing, ugh. Um, when I saw swatches on other YouTubers or bloggers, I was like, mm, they look chalky. They look, I don't know, like they have a lot of fallout. Like they look, it just, it was something that I tried because I wanted to try IT Cosmetics, and I'm really glad I did because the shadows and how they swatched on my hand was, that's nothing about how they, it's nothing like how they perform on my eyes. So um, I did not get the second palette that came out. I almost did right before Christmas, but looking at that one versus this one, I was like, you know what, I'm really happy with this one. Um, but I really felt the need to talk about this because it did shock me and it shocked me that I liked it so much since there wasn't one with a lot of shimmer and sparkle in it. So that's it. That's my, they're my favorites for 2014. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really had fun looking back, going through all my makeup, looking back at some old videos to see what I was talking about, what I really, really like. Um, if you have any questions about anything I mentioned, please let me know down below. Otherwise, I'd love to know if you guys had any standout products for this past year. Um, maybe you can recommend something that I don't use or haven't really heard about. Um, so yeah, let me know. Thank you so much for being with me. This was so much fun. And um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.